The streets around the Stonewall Inn are quiet now. But 50 years ago, in June of 1969, this popular gay bar in New York City was the site of violent confrontation when an unprovoked police raid triggered widespread outrage, as seen in these excerpts from a film by First Run Features. The uprising resulted in several days of riots and demonstrations, which many believe was the catalyst for the modern gay rights movement. Now, a new exhibit at the museum in Washington, D.C., explores that tumultuous period. Exhibit writer Christy Walliver says it focuses on the courageous efforts of everyday Americans. This big movement was spurred on by people who wanted to make a change, whether that's fighting for the right to work and serve, whether that's parading in the streets and celebrating who you are, or whether that's winning the right to marry. Jim Obergefell was one of those people. He fought for marriage equality in the state of Ohio for him and his longtime partner, John Arthur, who had been diagnosed with a fatal disease. Because we lived in Ohio where we were not able to get married, we chartered a medical jet and flew to Baltimore where we parked on the tarmac at BWR Airport and got married inside that airplane. And then when we learned that the state of Ohio at the time John died would ignore our legal marriage and say that he was unmarried and not list my name as his surviving spouse, we decided we weren't willing to stand for that and we filed suit against the state of Ohio. And that ended up going all the way to the Supreme Court where we won. And on June 26, 2015, marriage equality became the law of the land. Obergefell loaned personal objects to the museum to illustrate his story. The couple's wedding rings, the jacket he was wearing when they got married, and the bow tie he wore when the Supreme Court decision was announced. Other trailblazers are also represented in the museum. Frank Kameni, who many consider the father of the LGBTQ rights movement, used this portable typewriter to create memos, pamphlets, and protest materials. There's a display case for Harvey Milk, a leading human rights activist and one of the country's first openly gay elected officials assassinated after only a year in office. There's memorabilia from Congressman Barney Frank, who announced he was gay in 1987 after having served for three terms and a red dress from Tammy Baldwin, who in 1998 became the first openly gay woman to be elected to the U.S. Congress. John Lake, who works for one of the sponsors of the exhibit, found it deeply personal. Going through the exhibit, I see these moments that now impact my life in a very real way. Like seeing Jim Obergefell's jacket that he was married in, that happened around the same time that I proposed to my husband, and to see those moments really coming to life for the community, it just really brings it home. While there have been great strides made in the gay rights movement over the past 50 years, many acknowledge that there's still much work to be done. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.